Got it? Everybody got one of these? Put your name on the top? You see where you put in the presenter's name? Yeah. Right there? And I'm supposed to look how Philip answers these things. Okay. Let us begin. Okay, good afternoon. My name is Philip Bond. I've been really ple I've had the pleasure of being in this class and being taught by Professor Decker. Uh, and we have Dr. Duran here, and um, I acknowledge your presence, and I also love the experience that I've had with each and every one of you. So, well, what do you think for that? Let's go. Good. Yeah. 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 So, so, the company that I chose was the Electronic Arts Team, and it's in the management, strategy, and innovation. So, quickly to my agenda, I'm doing an executive summary, business summary, recent news, financials, balance scorecard. Trends, recommendations, and in my conclusion. So, my executive summary Electronic Arts Inc. needs to ensure that it has a CEO that will guide the company through the digital transformation by focusing on management, strategy, and innovation. In addition, the company needs to be realizing sustained excellence to maximize growth and opportunities. So quickly through the business summary, it was incorporated in 1982 in Redwood City, California, so it's been around for about 31 years. And they've developed to become a developer, marketer, publisher, and distributor of video games. And they're the third largest gaming company behind Nintendo and Activision. They, they used to be the number one, but they've lost some of their market share. And they, they have two main divisions. These are EA Games and EA Sports. The top games include FIFA, Madden, NCAA Football, and Battlefield. So you can see that they have a real presence in electronic arts sports. So through the recent news in 2013, their CEO Richard Taylor resigned on March 30th, and reasons for his resignation were that he weren't meet, he wasn't meeting the financial um, standards that the company were putting forward. And so they're currently looking out for a CEO right now, and they have Larry Props is their temporary CEO right now. He was the CEO before, so he's stepping in, and. And also, they have 10% temp, temp of employees were laid off in April, and this represents about 900 people. And they're laying off because they, they're going through a digital transformation right now, and they, they realized that having so many employees, they weren't going to be able to progress at the, 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 the way that they needed, but they're getting bad publicity for all these layoffs as well. And they, <coughs> they recently experimented with having Facebook games because everybody's going with social media right now. But they, they recently announced that they were going to discount, discontinue it because they realized that they, they weren't getting any, any profits from it. And they, because of the other players in the game, such as Zingo, that they, they couldn't break into this market. And also, they were voted the worst company in the USA for the second year in a row. So why were they voted the worst company for the second year in a row? Because of how they treat their employees. They, they have a lot of employee complaints. And also, they've been stated to be pushing them too hard and also be focusing more on sales rather than developing the employee. Another reason that they're voted the worst company is because of how they treat their customers. They, they, they tend to rush their, through their development of games and getting the video games out on, on the shelves to increase sales rather than ensuring that the games are of a great quality and create value to, to the customer. So, so as you can see with the picture here, this means on unfinished EA tried to publish it. So, so this is a direct hit at them because they've, they've been constantly having um, games with elite names but not elite quality. So, so you, you have like a lot of YouTube videos that highlight um, the, the, the bugs in the game and so on. And also they've been doing a lot of acquisitions of um, new innovative companies and then they're getting a big backlash of how they treat these acquisitions because they're pretty much buying them and then destroying the innovation and the creativity in those companies. So, so some, some of the key financials, because when looking at a company, it's very important to look at financials. So th their revenue in 2012 was 4.14 billion, which is up 15.4% from 3.6 billion. So this is, this is an increase, and it seems like it's doing well because it's increasing, but there's some other figures here that indicate that all might not be well. So that their net profit in 2011 was negative 276 million, which is huge because they were in <coughs> a, a whole heap. But they've increased this to 
have a net profit of 76 million in 2012, so they had a 127 percent increase. The return on assets, however, is very, very alarming. They have a 1.4 percent return on assets compared to Activision, one of their main competitors, who has an 8 percent um, return on assets. So it's showing that they're not using their assets productively. So they really need to ensure that they increase their productivity with their assets and ensure that they're using the resources that they have to, the, to their best ability. And their market capitalization is 5.28 billion. And the stocks, in, 20, in 2007, the stock was at 61.12 and it dropped dramatically to, to presently 17.61. So this shows that investors aren't believing in them as much as they used to, and especially since they are losing a lot of market chance on and not being as innovative as before. This is the reason for their decline in stock. Even though the stock did increase slightly after the announcement of the resignation of their CEO, but it's decreasing still. So, so this graph shows the market share in multimedia and graphic software. As I said before, EA used to be the, the dominant in this market. Right now, they're third. So as you can see, EA has 21% of the market share, which compared to Activision has 26%, and Nintendo actually has 44% of this market share in multimedia and graphic software. So EA really needs to ensure that it digs into the market share of these other companies and regain its lead in this market. So one of the reasons for them losing market share is because they're going through the digital transformation, as I mentioned before. And this, this graph shows the way that they're using their digital revenue. So you can see it's constantly increasing. So it was at 424 million in 2009. And right, right now it's at 1,227 million. And it's predicted to even grow further in this year, 2013. So one of the resources I used was the balance scorecard. So th this includes the financial, the customer, the learning and growth, and the internal business process. So with the financial, what they should be focused on is growing revenue and increasing productivity, especially in, um, as they with their return on assets. So it's really important that they focus on this but ensure that finances aren't the main drive in, in, their, in their strategy because the reason that they're in trouble right now is because they have been focusing on the finance rather than focusing on innovation and creating growth. And then also with their customers, as I said before, with the the bad publicity that they've had with treating their customers and uh, even after the sale and even with having the games not being published correctly. So, so EA needs to bring the customers back to the core and provide the best value because it, it's very important that the, the customer is at the core of your business because the customer is the one that defines how your company is doing and they're the ones that ensure that if, if, if they value you, then, then you will be Growing, but if, if the customers are telling you, then it's, it's a quick way to um, drop in your stocks and drop in revenues as well. And in learning and growth, they need to build organizational culture on in innovation and especially using the discovery skills. The discovery skills are association, networking, experimenting, observing, and I remember the last one, but <clears throat> we know only one. Yeah. So, 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 so it's important that they. they they, they use the skills because the, the, the way that the company is set up now is that they have um, their employees working on different projects simultaneously and it would be better if they have them create small groups and focus on a certain project to increase the, the innovative capacity of them and also create synergy. And also the internal business processes. They need to ensure that the resources, the businesses and the organization are aligned. So, so th this means that they need to be using their assets correctly, they need to be using their employees correctly, and they need to ensure that their vision um, and their goals reflect what's, what's in reality, so ensure that, that they're able to bring their, their ideas out and ensure that everything is working together and everybody is um, everybody's on, on the same plan. So, so there, there, are, there are certain trends that are going on like cloud computing, social media, mobile apps, and also the next generation for platforms. And this is huge because especially with video game corporations, they, they, they're really struggling <coughs> to ensure that their games have the, 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 the right standard for, it, for, for these next generations. So, so, 
So I have some recommendations. The recommendations are that they recapture consumer interest and regain its market dominance, restructure the business model, and emphasis on employees that I mentioned before. They need to change their strategy to focus on innovation and growth and not maximization of profit. And the CEO needs to provide leadership that ensures sustained excellence. And this is so because the CEO is what connects the company to the outside world. So in conclusion, the Electronic Arts Inc. is going through a digital transformation. It's important that a company makes the right decisions for short term and long term. Innovation has to be everyone's job. Company growth and value will be increased when the right CEO is hired. His role is ensuring that they use the right strategy that focuses on employees, customers, and processes, which will lead to the company experiencing growth and creating better value. Thank you. Move out front, Emily, to bring yours up. Questions yeah. for Philip, please. Questions? Yeah, Philip, uh, you know, one of the things characteristic of all these uh, avant-garde uh, digital companies is their culture, you know, yeah. culture of innovation. You look at the Google culture, you know, where people love all these benefits. Is, is there a cultural problem there? Is it, yeah, or do you align it strictly with the lack of a CEO with vision? I mean, they definitely use that culture problem. Because in, in, in the past, they had a good culture because they were focusing on innovation and so on. Mm -hmm. But over the re recent years, they've been trying to increase their culture design and so on. And they're actually forgetting mm -hmm. their employees and forgetting the development of their employees. So, as, as I mentioned before, with them having working in different um, projects simultaneously, and so on, it's been really stressful on their employees. So, it's really stagnating the, the their productivity, in a sense. So, so I, I think that. They really need to ensure that the culture that they have there is one that is o o open to these innovative people and ensure that they ha ha have the right ideas and they can actually use these ideas and actually bring them to um, reality. Yeah. Of the two divisions, EA Sports and EA Games, did you find that there was uh, more success in one of them or a different management practice in one of them or something that they should build uh, based on the market of one of them? Well, they, they definitely is a focus on EA Sports, and EA Sports is also making more revenue. So as we saw that with, with FIFA and Madden and so on, th those were the real driving games for them, and that's where they make most of the revenues when, because they keep on releasing these games yearly and so on, and because of the license that they have with um, um, leagues like the NFL and the Premier League and, and so on. So, but, but what one of the hits on them is that they, they say that EA is focusing too much on sports, and that's why they're actually losing market share and so on, because they're saying that Activision and Nintendo, they have a more broader mm -hmm. scope and so on. So they're saying that EA needs to ensure that it's making innovative games and so on, instead of just focusing on these licensed games and using their publicity to create revenue. Okay, thank you, Phil.